I'm here with Dr. Terry now from the Smile Center in Robinson, Illinois. And Dr. Terry, it's always great to have you on the show. Well, Doug, it's always good to come over and see y'all. We enjoy it. Now, I know a lot of people when they go to the dentist, they're always concerned about being uh, informed that they've got a cavity. Tell us, first of all, what is a cavity? Well, Doug, a cavity basically is just a bacterial inf invasion of a tooth. Uh, today's, we know that it takes three things to have a cavity. One is bacteria, two is a tooth, and three is a refined sugar. We all get that in our diet. They hide in the little cracks and crevices of the teeth, and all of a sudden, we start finding cavities. All right, and we've got Dr. Jason over at the green screen. He's gonna actually show us kind of the old way uh, of detecting some of these things and kind of pinpoint some cavities for us. Thanks, guys. Yeah, what I'm gonna show you here first is the start of a cavity, but just by some color change in the tooth. And as that progresses, it can turn into areas that break down or even completely crack off. In our next picture, we're gonna show another thing on the x-ray here where we have an existing filling, existing caps on teeth that again, holes start to form where those cavities are. And in the next picture, we have the smaller cavities brewing underneath old fillings, and we can see the same person in the mouth, little color change happening. So we look for these little color changes, little softness forming. And now Dr. Terry's gonna show us more about the new technology we have to detect cavities. Back to you guys. So Dr. Terry, with what he just showed us, those are, those are some indicators of things that uh, probably make it difficult or more difficult to find, but what does the new technology help you do? Well, everybody knows they always have that big fear, the little pokey thing in the dental office, the yeah. mirror and the dentist extra finger. Well, this is a new way of finding decay, and basically what it is, it's a laser light. We just simply pass this up and down the tooth or in suspect areas, and what we do is we get a reading on the laser number, and it also makes a little noise. So this tells us how approximately how big the cavity and how big the decay is, and it finds things at a very, very small level versus waiting for them to get very big the way Jason just showed you on the x-ray. So this is very great for finding stuff really early. Yeah, now, what's a, a situation where somebody has brushed their teeth on a regular basis and they still have cavities? Are they doing something wrong or do you have any advice for them? First thing we always recommend is start looking, number one, at your home care regimen, how many times a day you're brushing, how you're brushing. It's important to brush correctly rather than just bottle brushing. Uh, the next thing to do, obviously, is look at the sugar intake that you've got. You know, how much stuff are we putting in there the bacteria can eat? Is there anything that you can do to protect uh, kids' teeth? Oh yeah, well everybody knows about fluorides and sealants and all that type of thing. We've got some new stuff that we is, is available, we'll be showing later, but uh, basically it's good home care. That is the number one thing you can do at home to keep from getting decay. And what can you do to uh, basically decrease your risk of actually getting cavities? Obviously you mentioned brushing, uh, the good home care. Are there foods and different things in your diet you could stay away from or avoid? Anything that's high in sugar, if you look at it and if it tastes good and it's real sweet, it's probably not good, <laughs> probably not for, good for your teeth. Huh? <laughs> that's about it. How about soft drinks? Any, any particular soft drinks that are soft, worse than others? Soft drinks are absolutely horrible because there is such a high acid content and so much sugar in all those. So it's uh, all right. staying away from that. If you're going to drink it, make sure you drink water Great advice. Yep. Well, Dr. Terry, Dr. Jason, thanks for joining us here from the Smile Center in Robinson, Illinois.